Well, everybody, it is great to be back again. I am sitting here in bed, still getting over the most horrible cold that I've had for about a week and a half now. Um, actually, it's been going around my house. My kids were sick, and now I got sick. So I have been dealing with that, and I decided to make this video just so I could share with you guys how I survived this horrible cold, um, and how you can survive a flu or cold after having RNY surgery. It's a little bit trickier for us since we have tiny tummies and there are certain meds we can't take. So, let's get started, shall we? Number one most important thing when you're sick is fluids and medicine. The, the reason that I say fluids and medicine are important is because one, we get dehydrated quickly and we cannot catch up. After you have RNY surgery, you have to literally just sip water throughout the day just to not get dehydrated. And when you're sick, that is the last thing you want to do. So I always have my little water bottle. Um, I use a straw. I know some doctors recommend against it, but you know what? I've been using a straw for almost a year now and I'm fine. So I use the straw, I use this bottle, um, and I sip constantly. And I also sip tea. Um, and by tea, I mean Theraflu. It's acetaminophen based. It's not based on Motrin. So, um, and it's, you make it with water. So that's liquids. I mean, any liquids that you can get in your body and if it has medicine in it, even better. Number two, medicine. I was just talking about Theraflu. That's just one of them. Um, I actually have a couple of things that have gotten me through this time period. And this little booger, I know this probably is like, I don't know, like, the weirdest thing ever to some when you do it, but it's a sinus wash. My sinuses still now are very congested and like it was to the point where I would bend forward and it had pressure in my head. So sinus wash it helps clear you out. You don't have to use any of those nasal sprays that dry out your nose and it just gets you all set. So that's one thing. These little guys, Dayquil and NyQuil. Let me say something about Dayquil. I take Dayquil and it does nothing, absolutely nothing for me. I take NyQuil and I wake up feeling like a new person the next day. And I sleep well. I obviously can't take Day NyQuil in the daytime, but Dayquil does nothing to me. I feel like it's just like a placebo. But anyways, I do take NyQuil. These are also acetaminophen based. I don't like doing the syrups. I'm afraid that those might have a little bit too much sugar for me. Um, I'm not trying to dump and be sick on top of being sick. So I just do the little gel caps and I'm fine with that. Number three, protein. So obviously when you're sick, you're not gonna be hitting the gym, lifting, doing anything crazy. And you're not gonna be eating like steak when you're sick. I go back to my post-surgery diet, my liquids. I go back to my broth, my protein shakes. I track and make sure that I hit my protein goals while I'm sick. And the reason I'm saying that, and it's very important, if you're doing any kind of strength training, you don't want to be sick for a week and a half and lose out, you know, on the muscle that you've been gaining because you've been sitting there starving because you've been sick. So hit your protein goals, protect your muscles from getting eaten up. I actually, um, quick little tidbit, I went to the gym today for an assessment with a, uh, with a trainer and they did an assessment on me three weeks ago. And even though I was sick for a week and a half, so half the time, I managed to gain a pound of muscle and lose three pounds of fat. I feel like the reason that I was able to is because I kept up on my protein. Because I swear if I had not, but my muscle, goodbye muscle. I like my muscles. I have little baby muscles right now. They're there. I promise you they are. Number four, comfort items. When you are sick, you feel like crap. The last thing you want to do is sit and be in like uncomfy clothes. Like right now I am wearing I call it my Lula suit, but it's just like leggings and like a cute little comfortable shirt. And I have my cute little blankie that I cuddle with. And I have a little pillow that I cuddle with. And I have my tissues that have lotion in them. And they actually make these Vic scented, which is amazing when you have a stuffy nose because you blow your nose and it literally helps you unclog your nose like because you get the Vicks menthol up in your nose at the same time. It's amazing. You are already feeling icky 
try to feel a little better and keep yourself comfortable. Have a favorite blankie, have a favorite pajamas. Stay in pajamas all day if you can. Like, you know, like I'm, I I wasn't going out anywhere. All my kids were sick. I was sick. We weren't we weren't leaving this and it was snowing. I wasn't going anywhere. So yeah, just be comfy. And that literally that rest and be feeling comfortable is going to help you feel a million times better and help you recover. Number 5, last but not least, you need love. <laughs> By love, I mean you need people who care about you. You need somebody that's going to look out for you and that when you're sitting there laying on the couch and you have a fever and you don't feel like picking up the water bottle is going to give you tough love and say, hey, pick up your water bottle. In my case, those two little people were my minions. Although they were sick, they were getting better and I, when I was really sick. And they're like, mama, you need to drink more water. Mama, you have a fever. Mama, do you need to cuddle? So yes, cuddles, lovin's friendly reminders from those who love you are all things that are going to help you get through this horrible period. Um, if all else fails and you can't write it out at home, go to the doctors. All right, folks, um, I am looking forward to getting much, much better and filming videos. I actually have two fun videos coming up. I do, however, still post on the Facebook group. Um, actually, I will be announcing the winner of our latest giveaway this week, and I am going to be starting a fun new giveaway. Um, this giveaway is going to be, I believe it's going to be a little basket of fit goodies, so it's going to have like a water bottle, it's going to have some food samples, so look out for that. If you haven't, join the Facebook group. The link is down below. Uh, Feel free to hit the subscribe button so you get a notification every time that I post a video. And as always, peace out, folks.